I love when things take a turn, and I do not feel that Chandler and Connor are fighting for nothing. And I used to. In all fairness, and it was, that wasn't me being a hit. Chandler might be my favorite fighter. He might be. I, and I can assure you, he's not lower than two. <laughs> he's, Chandler's very special. That doesn't change the fact that they were fighting over nothing. There was no title. There was no grudge. There was no ranking. This is not opinion. From day one until now, what weight class they were going to fight out was never known, and it was never fought for, and it was never argued. And you know what? It never mattered because there's nothing on this fight. So I'm not there anymore. I'm not there anymore. Michael Chandler is fighting to be, wants to be, the most entertaining man in MMA, and that is the title that Conor McGregor has. Red Panty Night is real. And it didn't have anything to do with the suits. It didn't have anything to do with the bow tie, the glasses, the tattoos, or the accent. Conor McGregor is entertaining. He has something to say. He will say it funny. He will say it meanly. But he will say it. And he's entertaining. His style is pleasing. His courage is contagious. Michael Chandler wants it. Michael Chandler wants all of those things. Everyone else did too, but they weren't willing to risk it. I mean, they really weren't. The other guys that went against Connor had other motivations. Number one was money. Some of them was self-protection. Some of them was world championships when Connor had that to offer. Just by example, like those guys weren't wrong. Those guys said great things. But Chandler wants something that he hasn't told you guys yet. And Chandler wants something that of everybody that's ever faced McGregor, only Chandler is capable of getting. Which is the fans. So many people get this wrong. Promoters get it wrong. They'll take an unpopular guy and put him with a really popular guy and have them fight with the idea that the fans will then go with this guy that just beat up their fair fight. Like, it's just weird. It doesn't work that way. That is not a piece of human psychology. If you really like the guy, then you're not even happy that this other guy brought him down. You didn't like him to start with. You're going to not like him more. Like, the psychology is really off. But Chandler offers something different. And I share that with you as we set up this fight. And I have to. I have to because... It's not about the X's and O's. We don't know what to expect. We don't know how Connor is going to do with that leg. Anderson Silva came back, and it was special, but it was different. Chris Weidman is back right now, and it's special, but it's different. So Connor McGregor is now going to walk in those same shoes, but he's going to do it against a very difficult opponent. Neither Anderson nor Chris had to return against a former champion. They just didn't. And I don't believe, I'd, ha I'd have to look, I know Chris did, but I don't believe that Anderson's return was five rounds. It might have been. It might have been because he was always fighting in such big fights. But it's a lot that Connor's biting off here. And Chandler has now announced, and asked you all to buy the fight. Please buy the fight. Not for me. I don't want to take this from you. I know Connor's popular. But I am going to retire him. This will be his last fight. So I want you to make sure that you have that experience. So none of you are mad at me. Letting you know right now what I'm going to do to him. He's going to represent the last time he goes out there. And you know what? Not for nothing. There's a lot of truth to the statement. And not in the regard of the way Chandler's put in, or at least not just that. Not in the regard of, I'm so good and I'm going to hurt you so bad. Like, I can't imagine that, that Chandler's going to hurt Connor more than he's already been hurt, right? That leg, that leg was pretty bad. And Connor got up. He got up and got back on the horse. He got back out there. So I don't say that Chandler is a likely guy to retire Connor from like, oh, he's so good. He's going to go out and crush him. It, it's from a standpoint of, hey, getting Connor in there in the first place is rare, right? I mean, but getting him in there in the first place is a bit of a treat. It was exciting to get the announcement that he was going to return. It's not exciting 
to find out somebody else is gonna return? Only him, he's very unique. And Chandler has it. Chandler has it. because, And here's the one thing that's different from Chandler and everybody else. And it's the one thing that Connor had that separated him. He's able to stand back, look at the board, and understand simple things like, there's going to be a face of the company. Somebody's going to be the most popular. Oh, by the way, to be the biggest draw, to be the most popular, you don't have to have the, the titles or the record. There's other ways. And nobody would have thought that. Nobody in boxing has ever done it. And by, it won't matter. The, the, if you lose a fight, you're not getting it. You lose three fights, you're not fighting a main event. You lose five fights, you might as well retire. You lose 10 fights, you're a bum, they'll tease you for the rest of your life. I just share for you, like, it's a little bit different. So Connor was able to look at the map at one point in his career and say, I'm going to take over all of it, not just 45. I'm going to take over the whole damn thing. I am going to be the face. I'm going to be the guy that goes on the box of that video game. Now, how do I do it? And he was able to start putting his strategy together. Connor did not just become red painted. He just become a star. He just become fun. He had a plan. And the biggest reason it worked, aside from his talents, he is very talented. But aside from his talents, he was the only one that tried. It was going to be a very difficult plan to fail at. To be the face of the company, to be the most popular guy, was a hard plan to fail at because. He was the only one that even tried, that even knew it was a thing, that even knew that there was a way to do it. That put a strategy together to leverage every single thing that he did. No moments wasted, no microphone, no interview, no social media, nothing wasted. Broken with a leg, emergency to get to the hospital right after I do this interview. Joe, come sit down with me. Right? I mean, it was one of those things and taking that from Connor is going to be very hard. But this is the first guy in Michael Chandler to recognize, to even attempt. Guys, if Michael Chandler, okay, do you understand what a scumbag Connor was when he left? Can you guys remember back then? He had one defender on earth, me. I was just only, because I was saying, hey guys, I don't know that you just saw his true character like you believe. I believe you finally saw what a committed entertainer he is. And I only tell you that they hated him. People that work in the UFC hated him because they like Jolie and they like Dustin so much and the DMs and the whole bit, they were so upset. If Chandler stays on the, I'm, he was already hurt. He shouldn't even be fighting me. I'm, I'm going to go beat fight a one-legged man. If he stays on it. I'm going to retire and retire your favorite fighter. If he stays on it, there is a very strong chance, particularly if Chandler brings the energy into it, the injury, not just skills. If he brings in the injury and points out you're hurt, ha ha, almost like he's picking on a disabled guy. Can you imagine the heat? Chandler will be the heel of the fight. If Chandler stays on that, he will turn McGregor babyface. There is nothing that people sympathize more than a victim. If Chandler makes Connor the victim while making himself an evil heel and wins, Michael Chandler will take the throne as the UFC's most entertaining man.